I think what makes Tomatito special from other like uh, contemporary restaurants is we don't take us too serious in terms of decoration and also in terms of design. We want this space also to feel that it, it always here, you know. When a Vietnamese person comes uh, first time to Tomatito, they feel a little bit surprised. You take this very narrow staircase and you probably don't expect to find something like that in a second floor, you know. This building is a quite a special building. It's quite special because it's a wide building. It's great because you can create like a whole experience, but it's also challenging because you want to have like more uh, different experiences in the same space more intimate corners so that's why we created like the legends corner then we have like lounge area and also we have this kind of big bold red cabinet in the center that kind of filters the views between one side and the other side but it's still having interconnected experience Tomatito is a tribute to the vintage uh, tapas bars in Spain it's uh, the place where people, they go uh, not just to eat or drink, it's where we go to uh, discuss about football, about like the local celebrities. We have a corner dedicated to football. Uh, we have like a Maradona t-shirt when he was playing in Barcelona. Then of course we have like our main piece, which is the bullfighter. Uh, it's a real bullfighter dress. It was on the arena. He, uh, gave it to us and he was really, really proud that this suit was going to Vietnam to share kind of an important part of our culture. So we bring a little bit of every team so everyone is happy. I think uh, Tomatito fits very well in the current Vietnam because it's based on the 80s uh, vintage tapas bars. And in the 80s was a very special time in Spain where it was a big boom, like there's now in Vietnam. It's a time where everything is possible.